Hello, hello, hello! I'm going to start things off wholesome. I forgot to mention this at the time. This is the end of the recording. I'm just going to add it at the start. We've got some cute Mackie videos. I'm going to put them up now. So just, just enjoy those first, okay? Have a, have a look. <laughs> What's up? It's week two. But this time I'm going to do it in reverse. That's right. You're expecting me to talk about my progress first and then do some lame talk at the end. No, we're doing it the other way around this week. Uh, yeah, screw you. I don't know how long this one's going to be. I haven't written many notes down for I have a few, but we'll see how it goes. What are we going to talk about this week? This week we're going to talk about this one quote I saw that was really sadly followed by an event that just made it even sadder. Uh, this is a bit of a somber one. This is a bit of a, a sad El Maxo second channel video, but let's... Let's get into it. We're going to start with a quote. Uh, a quote. You ready? I hope you're ready. We're all going to die. All of us. What a circus. That alone should make us love each other, but it doesn't. We are terrorized and flattened by life's trivialities. We are eaten up by nothing. Uh, Charles Bukowski. Uh, he's a poet who had a very sad life. He was like a crippling alcoholic and no one picked up his writing for ages and he was really sad. But then he got... He released a poem. He made. He, I think he wrote like a book in three weeks or something, and then he became really famous. But uh, yeah, that's that's quote quote of the week. But yeah, I finished. I was reading um, uh, the subtle art of not giving a fuck, which I think I last week said had the lamest name ever, and I still stand by it because I think it does. Even though I thought the book was pretty good, but it's been a bit of a death week. Thinking a bit about death this week in a good way, not like a really sad nihilistic way, and more of a wholesome. Uh, it's a good way to keep you grounded type way. Um, I, I read that quote. It was it was at the end of the book of uh, the book I just finished, and I was like, "Wow, this is this is sad." But but I was like, you know, you know, if we confront our own mortality more often, I think I need to do it more regularly. I mean, I always do, but like more often, you know, it, it kind of kind of obliterates all the the crappy, fragile, superficial shit you have going on in life, and all the superficial values you have, and it and you kind of just like, you know what? I'm gonna die one day. We may as well make it a good run, you know. <laughs> and this is like some profound idea whatsoever, right? But I was just thinking about it, right? And the author Mark Manson uh, of the book, he he talked about this this uh, moment in his life. He had this transformative moment where his friend drowned when he, in his early twenties. They were like a party, and it was near a cliff, and you could like jump off into the water. Uh, but his friend jumped off. I think he had drunk a lot and his legs cramped and he just fully drowned. Really quite tragic. And he talked about how that was like the most transformative moment in his life where he sort of went on this this new path. He talked about his life as like, I think, pre-tragedy and post-tragedy. That, that's like the biggest distinction in his life. And he talked about this idea of how, you know, the more I peer into the darkness, the brighter life gets. Which, yeah, it sounds a little corny, but it's it's true. You know, just being conscious of your own mortality, it grounds you. It centers your, your, your life, your values, uh, makes you, you actually consider what you find truly important. And recently, I was thinking about, this, this kind of sounds weird to link it, but to the video I'm working on now, right? I, I was thinking about this idea in relation to it. Um, I have this cool intro plan for my next video, right? Uh, and it requires a lot of SFM work that's probably going to cost like at least $200, probably more to do this intro bit I want to do. Uh, and I was kind of weighing it up, like, is it worth it? I don't even know if the video's going to make that much money. Should I? Should I not? And I was like, you know what? No, I'm, I am going to do it. I'm going to pay the money for this because I think it's going to be fucking sick. It's going to be a sick idea. Uh, and I'm going to do it because I think it's going to make a great intro for a video. And I think a lot of people are going to appreciate it that I went, like, the extra mile for the video. And to me, that's worth way more than $200. I'm, I'm in a privileged spot. I don't, I don't need money. Uh, and I was kind of thought in relation to that, you know, like, what's $200 in the grand scheme of things, whereas what's... What's like a, an intro I'm proud of in the grand scheme of things? I, I know one of these means a lot more to me than the other, which, again, does come from a very privileged uh, position to say. And I was just thinking, I was thinking that. I was like, you know what? I need to have this this idea in the forefront of my mind. Let's let's make some cool shit that everyone can enjoy. Um, and who cares about the money? If that can be as long as I'm getting by, I'm happy. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. And I thought I kind of thought about it in that sense, but that was, that was like a bit of a slight tangent. But no, I I, I read of a morning, right? I read for an hour. And I finished reading. I finished the book, and the last the chap the last chapter is all about death. It's just how death should ground you and keep you level headed about life. And um, I need to apply that in some other areas of my life. I think there's some 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 things I've on my life. I was like, you know, in the context of things, I think I need to consider that more, um, a bit more. I've I've been lacking. I haven't been thinking about death enough lately, you know. But then, fuck, no joke. I finish reading. I get up to my computer. I start working on a video, and within 20 minutes, I check my Discord. And someone was like, Technoblade died. And I was like, no way. No way Technoblade died. 
No way Technoblade died. And I checked and I watched the video. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I fucking cried. I, I, I don't, I'm not a big crier, but when I saw his father like crying about Technoblade's death or Alex's death, I should probably say, oh, dude, it, it just felt so darkly poetic that after reading about all this shit on death, seeing what happened to Technoblade, Jesus. That really grounds you, doesn't it? That puts shit in perspective. Someone who was just so massively influential. I don't even like Minecraft YouTubers, right? I'm not a big in the dream shit. But Technoblade was, like, funny. He was hilarious. He, he was different than all the other people. And he, like, he had such a cool thing going on. And I remember, um, he announced that he had cancer 11 months ago. Uh, I think it started in his shoulder, his arm. And I remember hearing that and I was like, fuck. At the time, I was super anxious about my health. I was like, fuck. Fuck, I think I went for a run after seeing it. I was like, I need to get in shape or some shit. And I just remember that I started watching Technoblade after that. Um, I heard he got cancer. I just really enjoyed his videos. And just, oh God, seeing his death to fucking terminal cancer at the age of 23 is just definitionally tragic. It, it, I fully cried watching that video. I was like, actually distraught. I like, I just feeling for that, the father of seeing your own son die before you do is just something, you know, no pen, people say it a lot, but no parent should ever have to do that. And it was just rough. And it, just, it sort of even, it brought more meaning to what I just read in the book, you know, just about grounding yourself. I think the one thing is though, I think oh, the legacy Technoblade left is something he could be so incredibly proud of uh, when he died. Like, I, I don't know if anyone was on Twitter or YouTube at the time. That video has like almost 50 million views at this point. And just the amount of people writing nice things about what he did and the legacy he left behind. Holy crap. That's just, that's an insane, he did an ins he left an insane mark. I think, you know, I think he said in the video, if I had another hundred lives in every single one, I'd live them as Technoblade. And I was like, that is so beautiful seeing someone reaching peace with their death like that at such a young age, far out. I have so much respect for him and uh, like fucking rest in peace. He started off as a TF2 YouTuber, if you didn't know, Studio Law or Law Studio, his channel was. And fuck, I just, it, it fucking tore my heart out. I'm not going to lie. Um... So I don't know, I thought it was interesting just reading this whole chapter on death and then seeing Technoblade's uh, death straight off. I was like, fuck. It just, yeah, oh, God. It was rough. And I just think it's something important we should remember sometimes. You know, we get caught up with some trivial drama shit. And just sometimes, you know, just we're here for like like 80, maybe 90 years for us. We're pretty healthy. We're, we've got good technology coming. Let's let's try and be nice to each other. That's something i gotta got to think about more. And I think we should all think about more in the context of our lives, what we're doing, what we enjoy, the people we hang around with. Everything like that. Just remember, we're gonna, we're not here forever, you know, and we could go at any minute. So make sure you're living. Make sure you be prepared to die whenever, you know. That sounds harsh, but like, just live, live in the moment. Be fulfilled with what you're doing. I think I'm getting to a point of that, so I'm happy. I, I really just getting to a point where I could be like, you know what? God, take me at any moment. I'm happy. Well, no, I don't say happy. I'm fulfilled doing what I'm doing. I mean, it suck. I don't, I don't, I don't want to die. But like, if I could reach a point like that and find peace with it. I think that would make me a very, very happy person. That's basically just what I want to talk about for the first half. I, it's, it just thought it would be a good idea after what I read and seeing Technoblade. Just rest in peace. Genuinely tragic what happened. And this is, of course, I hope his family, friends, and seeing everyone on Twitter, million, literal millions of tweets was so intense. He left such a mark and he can be so proud of that. And I think, God, good on him. God bless Technoblade and rest in peace. I saw he got added to the Minecraft launcher. They added a crown to one of the pigs. Like, you have been immortalized for what you've done. So I think you can't really ask for more than that at the end of the day. I mean, I guess you could ask not to get cancer. Um, yeah, but that's not the reality we live in. And I think the next best option is what he was able to amount in that time. So, you know what? We'll leave it there uh, for that half. It's time for a progress update. It's time for a progress update. Um, this week, good news. I went to the physio, and he said I'm all good to start working my upper body again. So I got straight into it. Uh, I started. I'm doing push and pull again. I'm doing six workouts a week. Um, so that's good. I will say, though, my physical goals have been doing well. My reading's been doing well, uh, and all that's been going well. I will. I will admit, videos lacked a little this week, a slight, a little bit, because script writing is always hard for me. So it takes a bit longer. And I definitely wasn't as productive as the week before. But I wasn't unproductive. I was still more productive by far than what I usually would. Um, and I also made a community post. I don't know if you saw it. Where I, I just, for this video, I couldn't do it in a week. I'm sorry, I know I promised it, but I just, I could not. I would, with the quality I want to make it, I know I mentioned I'm spending $200 on the intro at least. It's just, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be to the 
the standard I'd want if I release it any sooner. So that's why it won't be out this week. It'll be out next week. But it'll be a very good video. I promise you that. But I am working eight hours at least every day on it. So I can promise you that. But yeah, no, all the goals have been good. Reading's been going well. I keep myself to account here. I did a, I did a like a pie, plyometrics. Pie, is it plyometrics? Plyometrics. I did some jumping exercise. I'm really focused on this vertical shit. And I think I'm feeling confident about that. Um, but yeah. No, that's that's it. We'll keep it short this week. just want to talk a bit about Technoblade. A bit about my progress. How it's all going well. Um, and all that. So, yeah. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, and I, I, I hope you stay grounded. I hope you stay level-headed and centered in whatever you want out of life. You know, just... Just... Just give it a think, you know, just remember how we're not here for long. I know it's nothing profound I'm saying at all, whatsoever. But truly, you know, if there's some... I, I've got to apply it to my own life. I think there's some some areas I kind of need to think about this towards. You know, keep keep rocking in the free world, as one Nardwa, the human serviette, would say. And yeah, uh, farewell, elite-level gamer.